Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in Perspective Drawing series. In this video, we will learn how to draw a perfect square in perspective using ellipses. So let's get started. All right, as usual, uh, we have a blank sheet of paper over here and uh, using my uh, ellipse guides, I will just draw a nice big ellipse. Uh, this is a uh, uh, 50 degree ellipse and I'll just draw a nice ellipse at the center of the page uh, like this so once we have it I'll just go ahead and mark the major axis and the minor axis okay so uh, we do know that uh, the minor axis of the ellipse always goes to the left vanishing point right or the vanishing point which is on this side in which case this is the left vanishing point now the question is how to draw line or a set of lines to the right vanishing point at which angle you know should i draw it should i draw it like this or like this or like this this is the question because we need those two lines those bounding lines to uh, make a perfect square so to just uh, tackle this problem over here first let us draw the major axis of this ellipse all right next uh, let us draw perfect vertical lines at the you know uh, which are tangent to our ellipse one is over here and the other will be over here right so these two lines these two vertical lines are tangent at this point and then this point now if we just connect these two dots over here this line goes to the right vanishing point fairly simple right however how to draw a, a two additional lines one at the bottom and one at the top to just close our square over here because we already have uh, two lines over here and we just need the line at the bottom and the line at the top so to draw these two lines at the proper angle for for this angle and degree of the ellipse uh, first what we have to do is draw a vertical line again uh, which goes through the intersection point of the major and the minor axis all right so we have a vertical line like this now uh, what we have to do is uh, is that uh, i'll just uh, take this sheet of paper over here now just assume that this part over here where the vertical is uh, you know like uh, intersecting with the ellipse this part has been magnified uh, like so over here where this is the uh, vertical line and this is the top part of the ellipse and this is the major axis now the way you need to draw the uh, the top and uh, bottom lines are something like this just take your uh, straight edge and try to draw a line uh, across the top of the ellipse so that it cuts the, the two sections of the ellipse over here which is with the, with the vertical line meaning this part over here okay, I'll just use a color pencil for this this part and this part they are equal right so you cannot draw a line which is like this where uh, you know like this half of the ellipse is is greater than this half of the ellipse the only way to do this is uh, just uh, see if the angle of the line that you're drawing is dividing into equal halves of the ellipse so just take the same angle and 
draw a tangent line to the ellipse like this this line goes to the right vanishing point in the in the most appropriate way so if we just try to do the same thing over here we have our vertical line over here and we have an ellipse so if i just take my straight edge i hope you can still see this yeah so i cannot draw like this because this entire section is too big than this small section over here and i cannot draw it like this also where this section over here is too small than this section over here so just uh, take your straight edge and place it uh, roughly so that uh, both the halves are equal uh, like this and just draw a tangent line perfect let's extend this yeah and do the same thing at the bottom of the ellipse itself yeah i cannot uh, draw it in this way where this section is too big and this section is too small the only way to do is just take it like this where this section and this section are the same and draw a tangent line once you do that you have a proper square in perspective given for this degree and angle of the ellipse so i'll just darken it using a marker so yeah it's a pretty simple trick which is very very useful especially while drawing the wheels of the car which we will see in our upcoming tutorials by the way this uh, this technique is not covered in scott robertson's how to draw book this is something i learned uh, i don't remember exactly but by some american professor's article in the on the internet Uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure to check out my other, uh, other tutorials on perspective drawing series. Um, I have plans of, uh, you know, like uploading similar tutorials, uh, you know, like uh, two videos every week or so. Or that's the plan. And I have uh, plans of making an entire series on to draw cars so subscribe to my channel and uh, i hope you uh, learn something from this and if you have any particular requests or comments or feedbacks or anything like that just uh, uh, drop your uh, feedbacks or anything like that in the comment section below i'll make sure to cover those topics in my upcoming tutorials so that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and until next time see you everyone have a nice weekend bye bye